Hey everyone, welcome to the Eve Echoes Weekly Roundup for the week ending the 3rd of June 2023. If you're unfamiliar with these videos, this is where I pick out the top news of the week, uh, throw in the patch notes, developer Q&A, anything hot that's hitting the community at the moment that I haven't been blissfully unaware of, etc, etc. So uh, let's get on with the video, shall we? So first and foremost, we've had this week's patch notes. Uh, nothing too substantial or game-changing, let's say. As usual, we've got our new Concord Pass event. Uh, we have Inscription of the Galaxy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know what that's all about. You do some kind of corp level challenge to get on the leaderboard. We know the deal by now. Nanocore Exchange, in order to improve the experience for Capsuleers and the overall combat capability of New Eden, exchange for the Neon Rain and Trailblazer series Nanocores will now be available to Concord. Yeah, okay. So it's just <clears throat> for those of you that have those weird nanite things, you've got a bit more options when swapping out your Nanocores. That's about it for that. An interesting uh, item in the patch note, however, Drone Self-Destruct Command. In order to enhance the emergency response capability of Capsuleers in combat encounters, the Self-Destruct Command for drones has now been made available for by Concord. If Capsuleers, drones or fighters are being ambushed while in long-distance combat, you may tap your drone in the overview in this space and select Self-Destruct. The drone deals minor damage to targets within a small range by self-destructing. This is... interesting. I've not seen anybody talk about it yet. The small damage. I'm kind of... I, I don't know what to think about this. Is this their equivalent of bomb launchers? Just having us instead have suicide drones? I, I, I don't know. Interesting... Uh, edition. I don't believe this is something that EVE Online has, so yeah, interesting edition. Let's uh, move on, shall we? Optimizations. Of course, market transaction wouldn't be a patch note without it. Uh, anything that jumps out there. Updated icons for capital uh, energy Nosferatus. Uh, some small improvements to the uh, battle assist, which is another name for the AI. For those of you that have gotten a bit confused. Um, do, do, do. When the battle assist is activated, if both shield and armor are less than 20%, the ship will automatically wrap to a star or dock in a station. Bit of a spelling error there, but we'll, we'll, we'll gloss past that. So, bugs and fixes. <clears throat> Fixed an issue where the destruction of a drone group may render the remaining drones inoperable. Okay, so a random drone bug. As many of those as can be fixed as possible would be great. Uh, retriever on the tech tree was apparently in the wrong place. An implant specific bug that won't make any sense to the majority of us. And something for fighters. Okay, a display display issue for fighters. God, I can't speak this morning. So moving on from them, we have carriers, super carriers. Where the hell are they? Um, we've been, it's been hinted at by the more senior content creators, the ones that actually have a dialogue with NetEase, that we should be getting them within the next week. The, the files for them, the files, the stats, etc. are all in the game. We just cannot see them at the moment. All we have uh, as proof of their existence is the screenshots that the content creators have been able to upload to Discord. And judging by the little star on the top left of this image that was obtained off of uh, Mario, um, it kind of suggests that it was probably shared via um, you know, uh, the devs directly. As in, we're not actually able to get it ourselves in game. Unless there's a trick to it, I don't know. But let's move on, shall we? Because there's not much to talk about until we actually see these in game and know how much they're going to cost us to build. Now, Plex. We're all familiar with this. The uh, Plex saga is still ongoing. 
As of about an hour ago when I took this screenshot, there was still no Plex on the market. No sell orders whatsoever. Again, if you want to buy Plex, you need to go ahead and place a buy order and wait for what could be up to two days for the buy orders to be fulfilled. The two day number, I got that from a per previous set of buy orders that I placed on my alts. Um, also, it is worth noting that Plex is not as cheap as it used to be. Um, only say a month or two ago, 3.9 million per Plex. As you can see at the moment, the buy orders you'll be placing will be 5.4. So bear that one in mind. And next up, of course, this isn't uh, proper game news. This is more community news, as it were, but figured I might as well throw it in here. Is the war over? We don't know. Officially, it isn't. But as we can all see on the in-game SOV map at the moment, SHH and allies have moved back north. Again, I'm not saying that the war is over because all of the leadership are adamant that the war is not over and it is continuing. So uh, I'm just going to put this out there. Is it over? Is it not? I guess it's up to you guys. So moving on to the last part of the video is the developer Q&A segment. So let's get on with this one, shall we? As usual, I had to screen grab it from Captain Benzie's video because uh, he gets them quite a lot earlier than the rest of us. So question number one, please can you add CyberXNC into Exchange Mod? When the event go out, I made a huge mistake and I want to change it into different one. Thanks, BR. This one's a bit hard to understand, but let's move on. Thanks for getting in touch with us. We're working on adding more great series of core exchange in the game. Rest assured, and we'll keep you posted on any updates. Appreciate your patience and understanding. Okay, so that's just nano core exchange then. I never really understood the need for the nano core exchange, but hey ho. Question number two. Greetings. I can't wait to put my hands on my mining ship unlocking their AI capabilities. Is there any plans or improvement in their development in the future? Thank you for your response. Kudos to y'all developer team of EVE Echoes. The answer? Hi there, we are pleased to receive such a suggestion as it is exactly what our team is currently working on. We are considering how to add this feature in a suitable and convenient way, please stay tuned. Okay, yeah, um, AI mining will become a thing as soon as they've actually finished working on it. Um, yeah, as if mining wasn't already as hands-off as it could possibly be, but oh well, let's move along. Question number three. What should you do more to... Eh, what? What should you do more tutorials for new items? Okay, uh, yeah, I hate these broken English ones. Why do they pick the ones that don't even make sense? I know it's translated, but still, you know, just they pick a question that makes sense or completely rewrite it so we know what we're reading. Anyway, answer. Hi there. New items are genuinely related to some new gameplay or events. If the new items are causing you any confusion, checking out the rules and instructions on the gameplay or event page might help. I'm going to throw in a little bit extra there. Um, alternatively, if it's a new event and people are struggling to understand it, go on YouTube. Uh, one of us content creators are probably going to make a video about it. And if we don't, request it. We'd, we'd be more than happy to do videos that you guys want to watch, especially tutorials. The important thing at the moment is knowing what tutorials you guys need. So next question, question number four and our last question. Greetings. When operating an orca using a mining foreman module, a combat aggression timer is activated. I understand the reasoning for this with other command modules. However, I am curious about the logic behind this one on the mining one. When I fill the holds on my ship and try to dock up, I must wait for this timer to run out before the situation... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice now before the situation will allow it. Obviously, this cannot be a law justification, balance, or a combat issue. Please explain this. Thank you. 
the answer. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We believe. There, yeah, we believe. Wow, we believe that this might be a bug, and we will fix it as soon as possible. Okay, so that question was more of a bug report. Um, yeah, congratulations to you four people who did manage to get com uh, Duo Omega out of these questions, even though sometimes they're not really questions, the bug reports. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I'll cut the ramble there. Feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment down below if there's any tutorial videos coming up you'd like to see. And see you guys in the next video.